Google Search Console index coverage excluded not found 404 in this video session we're going to explore 404 not found message in the search console index coverage report let's press on the tab itself here we're going to see some example URLs what this says to us is that Google when it requests the URL is the last crawl date is important for us to analyze because that tells us okay you know what in this example perhaps it was a couple of weeks ago when Google requests this URL it just couldn't find it it was served for all four here you have fetch as Google feature so you can use that go ahead and fetch as Google to say hmm as we can see, when I fetched it as Google, it says it's redirected. But that's not 404. 404 when served by the web server. It means that particular URL was not found on the server. So it's not 301 redirection. That means, right now I can look at all known pages and say, hmm, it seems that once upon a time, Google could not see that URL because this particular URL is not on the sitemap that I have submitted to Google so what you should do first of all is check the current sitemaps you've submitted to Search Console to see not for found for for error messages for the current URL structure of your site if there are 404 there then you need to go and fetch as Google as in fetch and render because it may show you not found error message because that's what it means 404 means the request returned from the server was said 404 not found so then the question is okay why is it not found there is not much you really can do apart from triple checking the sitemaps that you have currently submitted because as I've said in the previous video sessions, all known pages show you historical data. And the reason that these may occur for the URLs no longer on your site is that Google follows links from perhaps external sites. And then the external sites may be linking to URLs that are no longer available on your site. And yet, Search Console index coverage reports excluded from the index as in Google will not index these URLs because it cannot find them now you may think okay you know what I don't want to see these 404 error messages then your best bet is to utilize 301 redirection if the URLs that is not found anymore has complementary or related content on your site if that is the case that's a perfect candidate to add 301 redirection if you're using WordPress there are many 301 redirection plugins if you're not using WordPress you can still utilize 301 redirections using your web hosting account but once again, the best practice for using redirection is asking yourself, hmm, the page that Google cannot find because it's no longer on my site, but it seems that some people externally is linking to it. Because that is the most common scenario as to why Google shows these to us. Well, if that's the case, you say to yourself, okay, you know what? Do I have related content? Do I, do I have similar content on my website? If so, go and do 301 redirection. If not, just ignore it. You, as in, you can ignore 404, not found. As long as they are not in your sitemap. Because if a URL is in a sitemap, then that's what you're saying to Google. You know what, Google? Here's the map of my website. 
And then if Google looks at a URL that you've submitted saying, you know what, that's part of my website. And when Google requests it, it finds 404. Not found. And thus, index coverage reports are your friend to better optimize your website. Um, have a website that Google can better understand, better crawl, because 404 not found provides a bad user experience. Think it like this. Let's say how to rank in Google in 24 hours. Let's imagine someone searched Google. At this moment, they are Google's customers because Google provides a service through its search engine. And the results that Google shows is not coming from your website per se. The results are coming from Google's web cache servers. That means Google copies a site and the URLs, the content on it, and it serves it through its search results. Just imagine someone clicking on this, going to your website, and then they end up seeing 4i4 page not found. That's a terrible user experience. But if you had similar content, then you can direct the searcher to the correct similar URL, particularly for e-commerce sites. If that's the case, that's what Google wants you to do as well. Once again, not found should be triple checked by the sitemaps you've submitted. If there are not found there, you must ask yourself, okay, why can't Google find them? Because they are in your sitemap. And simply check your content management system. Yeah. If you're seeing not found for the URLs that no longer are on your site, and yet you have similar content, then go in and do 3i1 redirection. There are plugins for WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, log into your web hosting account and find redirects. cPanel gives you redirects option. Another way to do 3i1 redirection, to redirect the URL to similar content, is by using .htaccess file, which resides in public underscore HTML folder. This for WordPress, but if you're not using WordPress, you will still have access to .htaccess file for Apache servers. Simply download, so you have a backup, then you can right-click, press Edit. Then I'll show you a basic structure to adding 3i1 redirection using .htaccess file. And that is by saying rewrite rule and this symbol here. I'll zoom in so you can see. And give the path to, let's say, all URL, whatever the URL name is, then redirect to new URL. Surely that name will be different. But remember this. It is similar content. It has to be related to the redirection, or else, in terms of Google, so if you want to benefit from Google rankings, that's what you need to do. Index coverage excluded from index. That means Google is not willing to put this in its index. Checking last crawl date is important. Also, triple checking the sitemaps you've submitted. At the end of the day, they should not have 4i4, as in not found, for the sitemaps you've submitted. For all known pages, realize you're looking at historical data here. And the reason Google may show these is because these links may be on external sites, perhaps web scrapers who automatically scrape the internet. And they may place links here, perhaps these links were on my site two years ago. Or a year ago. As long as those links exist on internet, Google will follow them and keep showing you 404 not found messages. So then you have to ask yourself, do I have similar content? If so, go and do 301 redirection. If you're using WordPress, use the plugin. 
If you're not using WordPress, do a 301 redirection to similar content using your web hosting account. If you're technically inclined, you can utilize .htaccess file for Apache servers. At the end of the day, not found 404 messages cannot be ignored for the sitemaps you've submitted. That's why Search Console is your website's friend so that it's better optimized. Also, Google can understand it better. So that's what not found 404 message is all about.